Hi, I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. Today I want to give you tips about prints. A lot of people just discount prints. Oh, it's just a print. It's not valuable. That is the biggest mistake you could be making. So I want you to understand about prints. Tips and the inside scoop about prints, there's all these markings on prints. There's multiple names, there's numbers, there's information that you don't know what it is. I want to break down some of the basic things about prints for you so you can identify the valuable ones. This is a print by an artist named Harold Altman, very well-known Pennsylvania artist. This is a lithograph. I'll talk about different types of prints later. Right now, I want to talk about the markings on a print. Most artists will actually sign their prints. Okay, Altman signs this particular print. But Altman isn't the only person who's involved with the print. Altman actually does the image, but then somebody else actually puts that image onto a piece of paper. Okay, that's the printer. So there's the artist and the printer. Sometimes printers will actually sign a print. So you might have two names on your print. Now you're saying, oh, that's what the other name is. Okay, so think about that. Also, you might have a title on a print. The title of this particular work is Morning Walk. And then there's a date on the print, the date that the piece was actually printed. Then there's this funny number, it looks like a fraction. And that number is very important for value. It is vital to the value of the piece. This is actually called the print run number. This particular number will relate to how many pieces the printer has run of this particular image. So in this case, the numerator means something and the denominator means something. The, numina the numerator means where your particular print, this one right here, falls in the larger print run. So number 129 of 285 pieces in the entire print run. What you want for value is a small numerator and a small denominator. You want number one of 10, number two of 20. You don't really want a print run that's really, really long. You don't want a thousand or 10,000 as the denominator. And you don't want something late because the closer you are to one, it's expected and thought. The basic idea is that the closer you are to the first print, the closer you are to the artist's original idea. As they get printed and printed and printed, people tend to feel like, wow, you know, you're pretty far in the print run. A lot of other things have, have happened. If you have an artist proof, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have the best piece. I'll talk about that in a minute. But basically what that means is you may not have the best piece. It could have been pulled out at any time in the print run. That's a different thing. This basically I want you to think about, you want a low print number. So number 129 of number 285 is okay in terms of a print number because it is a, a small print run overall. When you're thinking about prints and you have a lot of questions, and many, many people do, you can always come to me as a resource. You can send a picture of your print to me and I can provide you with information and an appraised value. You can do that by sending a picture through email or any other way you want to communicate. Or you can actually bring the entire print, the original print, to one of my antique appraisal events that I host worldwide.